not everybody had the luxury of going to New Smyrna Beach this week for race weeks, so we decided to take a ride to Belchertown, Mass, to Nick Bobin's place. Um, not only is the shop really fantastic, can't wait to show you, but the trophies in this room are unbelievable. Um, hopefully you've had a minute to kind of take a look at some of the clips we've taken from um, this room. So, Nick, how did all of this begin? Well, all of this began when I was about four years old. My father brought me to Jolly Rogers Motorsports Park uh, up in Vermont where he was helping out a friend's son, actually, race motocross. And the entire way home, I was hooked on motocross and just asked Dad all, all the way home, uh, can I race, can I race, can I race? And when he got home, we sat down and talked to Mom about it. And Mom said, yes, but you can't race on two wheels. We're going to start on four wheels. Uh, so they bought me a uh, what was called a mini restricted go-kart and put me in a cornfield on a road course for about a year so I could get enough practice before they threw me out to the wolves. <laughs> and in 1999, we started our first year of competitive go-kart racing where we won the championship first year out in about six races or so. Uh, and the rest is kind of history. From there on out, we raced go-karts until 2008. I've traveled all the way up and down the East Coast from Charlotte to Indiana to Riverhead, Thunder Road. We raced a lot of the modified tracks that uh, we race today still. And uh, we even raced Stafford. So in 2008, we made the jump to stock cars, and uh, in 2010, we made the jump to modifieds, and that's where we are now, you know, uh, traveling New England, racing modifieds, racing pro stocks, uh, whatever we can get our hands on, that's what we're driving. And it shows, and you're doing Absolutely. quite well. Well, we would like to think we are, but we're not going to brag, you know, there's a lot better and more experienced drivers out there for sure. Uh, and we're definitely putting all our 110% uh, into trying to beat those guys. And on a rare occasion, we will, and uh, we take a lot of pride in that. Good for you. Congratulations. Good for you. Congratulations. We are proudly sponsored by Ford of Northampton in Northampton, Massachusetts. They're the leading Ford car and truck dealership in the Pioneer Valley. So if you're in the Martin Burton car or over it for your race car, go see Ford of Northampton. We are also sponsored by Riffs, which is a fresh food joint as they like to call themselves. They're in East Hampton and Turner's Falls. They just opened up in Turner's Falls, so make sure to stop in there for the grand opening where you can see this modified that you see in the video today. Also, the Hideaway Lounge and Myers Catering. Uh, in addition to those sponsors, we are also sponsored by Megan's Valley Landscape Supply in Hadley, Massachusetts, and they also do snow removal. So for those of you who went to New Smyrna and need somebody to plow your driveway before you get home, give them a call. Napa of Northampton is also a sponsor of ours and they supply us with all our paint and electrical supplies. A plus HVAC supplies us with our sheet metal for our bodies. And Wade Gagner of Wild Thing Carts, which got me started in karting at the age of seven, uh, which is a cage kart series that runs both at Claremont Speedway on Sundays and at Safford Speedway on Mondays. So if you're looking to get your kid into a go kart, call up Wade Gagner and he's long metal mass. And we would also like to mention that we do support several local charities, including the JDRF and St. Jude's, thank you, uh, where we generously donate 10% of our winnings each year. That's and a special thanks goes out to Dave Miller of Auto Machine, who, uh, to let the cat out of the bag, will be our winner builder this year. And we would also like to thank Doug Dunleavy um, for sponsoring us and um, allowing us to be able to go around to all of these different shops and meet great guys like this. And are you going to introduce us to your brother? Yeah, we can pull Joe in here for a second. This is a goofball, as we like to call it. Uh, my younger brother Joe uh, will be racing in the Super Street Division this year at Claremont Speedway, so be sure to look out for him. Uh, not only in the Super Street, but maybe in the Modified. You never know where we're going to show up or what we're going to show up with. See you at the track. <laughs>